Good morning. So, this morning our topic is all about addition and subtraction of radicals. So, let's identify first what is like radicals. Like radicals are radicals having the same index and the same radicand. So, let's have the first example, square root of 3x and negative 3 square root of 3x. So, let's identify first what are the index and the radicand. So, for the first example, the index here is 2 since it's square root and the radicand is 3x okay second example 2 cube root of 7x and 5 cube root of 7x so the index for the second example is 3 and the radicand is 7x for the third example we have 8 fifth root of 3ab and negative 7 fifth root of 3ab so the index here is 5 and the radicand is 3ab. So we are learning about like radicals since later you are only allowed to combine like radicals. Okay, now let's have addition and subtraction of radicals. So first example, 4x square root of y plus 6x square root of y. So number one example is an example of like radicals. So since they have the same index 2, and the same radicand y. So we can combine them. So we are going to put them into one parenthesis. So we have 4x plus 6x. Then we simply copy the square root of y. So 4x plus 6x, that would give us 10x. Copy square root of y. So for number 1, we have 10x square root of y. Okay, second example. So we have 5 square root of ab plus 6 cube root of ab minus 2 cube root of ab minus 3 square root of ab so let's identify what are the terms that are like radical so let's have this one so 5 square root of ab and negative 3 square root of ab are like radical since they have the same index and the same radicand so therefore we are going to have there 5 minus 3 then we copy square root of AB. Next, we have 6 cube root of AB and negative 2 cube root of AB are also like radical. So we put them in one parenthesis also. So we have 6 minus 2. Then we copy the cube root of AB. Then we simplify. So we are going to have 5 minus 2, 3 is 2 square root of AB plus 6 minus 2 is 4 cube root of AB. So if you have noticed, we have their square root and cube roots. So although they are having the same radicand, but they have a different index, so still we cannot combine them. So our answer for number 2 is 2 square root of AB plus 4 cube root of AB. Okay, now let's proceed to example number 3. 4 square root of 27 plus 5 square root of 12. So if you have noticed, they have the same index, which is square root. But then the radicands are different, 27 and 12. But then we can simplify them. Let's see what will happen. So therefore, copy the 4. Square root of 27 is 9 times 3 plus 5, copy. 12 is 4 times 3. Now, Copy the 4, square root of 9 is 3, then we copy the square root of 3, we leave it inside, plus 5, square root of 4 is 2, then we copy square root of 3, then 4 times 3, that's 12, square root of 3, plus 5 times 2, that's 10, square root of 3. Now, look at your answer. Right now, you are seeing like radicals. They have the same index, which is square root, and they are also having the same radicand. So therefore, we can combine them. So therefore, we are going to have 12 plus 10, that is 22, square root of 3. So for number 3, we are going to have 22, square root of 3. Okay, now let's have example number 4. So we have 2 cube root of 54x raised to 4 minus x cube root of 250x. So we are going to copy first the 2. We simplify the 54. So that would give us 27 times 
2. And the factors of x raised to 4 are x cubed and 3. Then we copy minus x, simplify the 250 which is 125 times 2. We copy the x. Now let's continue. So 2 cube root of 27 is equivalent to 3. And cube root of x cubed, so we are going to have 3 divided by the index 3. So that would give us an exponent 1. And leaving the 2x inside your radicals. So copy minus x, cube root of 125. So that would give us 5. And we leave the 2x inside. Now we distribute this. So 2 times 3, that is 6x. Copy the cube root of 2x. Minus 5x. Copy the cube root of 2x. Now, right now, we are having the same or like radicals. The same index, the same radicals. So therefore, we can combine them. So we are going to have 6x minus 5x. That would give us x then we copy cube root of 2x okay now so our answer for number four is x cube root of 2x okay let's proceed to number five square root of 45 x squared plus 5 x square root of 20 minus 2 square root of 80 x squared so right now what you are seeing is unlike radicals so we can simplify first so square root of 45 can be factored out as 9 times 5. Then we copy the x squared plus 5x. Factor the 20, which is 4 times 5 minus 2. Factor of 80 is 16 times 5. Then we copy the x squared. Now we simplify further. So we have here square root of 9. That would give us 3. And square root of x squared again. So 2 divided by the index that would give us an exponent 1 leaving us the square root of 5 inside okay let's proceed to the second term copy the 5x square root of 4 that would give us 2 we leave the square root of 5 inside then minus 2 square root of 16 that's 4 and square root of x squared so again we divide 2 divided by index 2, giving us an exponent 1, leaving the square root of 5 inside the radical. So let's simplify further. So we copy the 3x and the square root of 5 plus 10x. We distribute, copy square root of 5, distribute 2 times 4, that's minus 8x, square root of 5. So here, if you have noticed, we are now having like radicals, the same index, the same radicand. So therefore, we can combine this, the 3x plus 10x minus 8x, and that would give us 5x. Then we copy square root of 5. So for number 5, we are having 5x square root of 5. So that's all for today. I hope you've learned something about addition and subtraction of radicals. Thank you.